by 10% of the GDP on an annual basis. This is a unique opportunity for us, given more than 90% of our electricity, of our energy, is already green energy. This is a unique opportunity for our country to take the lead in global climate transition in the mobility sector. Doing this and using this not only increases livelihoods of our customers, of our consumers, but there's a significant multiplier effect to industry, to creating jobs in, in this country. Your Excellency, the Rome Air is made right here in Kenya behind me. From our software solutions to our product design team, from our charging infrastructure to our electric borders and buses, we strive to bring as much of the value chain as we can to Kenya. We choose to do this because it brings the most relevant product for this market, for our consumers, at the lowest cost, whilst creating jobs in our economy. Our goal at Rome is to make our vehicles efficient and affordable, and to deploy our technology and charging solutions to accelerate the uptake of e-mobility across Kenya and indeed Africa. In doing so, we want to make sure that our end users, the border border entrepreneurs, the commercial micro entrepreneurs, save more money and take home more income. Every Rome Air motorcycle is sold with a battery, with an at-home charger that makes charging an affordable solution for our consumers and safety is equally important to us. So with a helmet and a high visibility vest that you can see there. Your Excellency, we truly appreciate the efforts that your assistance that your government has made for the e-mobility sector. The VAT exemption goes straight to the bottom line, goes straight to our end consumers. That's a 16% reduction in the cost of purchase of a new vehicle. <laughs> the concessions you've made on import duties, on taxes, on excise duties, also helps us reduce the cost of our manufacturing of the motorcycle. Specifically, the electricity tariffs have come down, as we were discussing earlier today, to eight shillings off peak, 16 shillings peak, makes a big difference to charging the motorcycle. 150 shillings versus five or 600 shillings in petrol is a massive saving to the end consumer. Thank you, Your Excellency. At this facility, we can produce more than 50,000 motorcycles per year. We are ramping up our production and delivery schedules as time goes by. At the end of this year, we would like to have thousands of bikes on the road to our end consumers, saving them between 20 to 25 percent every single day. We want to support our customers as well by installing public charging infrastructure. So we've got three public charging points at the moment, and we want to roll more of these out as we deploy more motorcycles into the market, making it easy for our consumers to charge at home or at our public charging infrastructure, or indeed anywhere they can charge a mobile phone. We aim to start in Kenya, and there's no reason why from Kenya we can't export our motorcycles and vehicles to other parts of the continent. <laughs> Finally, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, there's two stories I'd like to tell you, with your permission, to make this very real and to tell you what we at Rome get very passionate and enthused about. Your Excellency, you met Lucy Mugala at the battery lab. You could see her passion for batteries. Lucy joined us as an intern about four years ago after a degree in mechatronics from Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. In four years, she's risen to head our battery technology team. Batteries are the second most passionate thing she's about. The first is her daughter who's four years old today, Elodie. And what drives Lucy is the passion she has for the products that we make to deploy across the country these mobility solutions such that her daughter can live to see a more prosperous, a greener, and a better Kenya. Your Excellency, next, you also met one of our customers, Lillian Moyanga, over there, very nicely on her motorcycle. Lillian is a single mother of a 12-year-old boy. 
David Kinuthia. Lillian has been a border, border driver riding across Kilimani for the past six years. She's one of the early adapters to an electric motorcycle. She started using the Rome Air one year ago. On a daily basis, she saves 320 Kenya shillings every single day, which goes towards paying her daughters, paying her sons school fees at Kinyanjui Primary. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, these are the things that motivate us to do what we want to do, right? This is what drives the passion we have for e-mobility across the region. Tumeshukuru sana, asanteni. Governor Sakaja. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Waziri Davis, uh, Wabunge, uh, my customer, wa Rome, Walo Wanaendesha Boda Boda, Bona Sifiri, Pia Viongozi wa Hapa, Philip, na CFO, and the entire association, because I know it is a whole ecosystem of different players and different uh, assemblers of electric uh, bikes as well as electric buses. Your Excellency leo hii tuko hapa na nilangata constituency. Na najua tuko na wabunge ambao niluaita waje waone kwa sababu wale ambao watafaidika ama wanafaidika na mambo haya ni wananchi wetu. Mavijana wetu ambao wako mtani, wale ambao wanaendesha maboda boda ama masenke. Eh, si hivyo ndo tunazita. Wale madere wa masenke mavijana yetu mtaani na pia wale ambao wanafanya kazi hii. So utanikubali tafadhali ni mwaliki Jalas kwa sababu pia ni hawa wabunge wakiwa bungeni ndo walipitisha sheria ambayo imeruhusu bei ya hizi vitu kushuka chini. Watu wamepiga kelele nyingi at yo VAT tax 16% of this has gone down. The tax ya battery imeenda chini. The excise duty imeenda chini. So nataka Jalas kwa niaba ya wabunge wote kwanza tunakushukuru tumpigieni makofi akija na utatuintrodizia utueleza wale bungu, wabunge ambao wako hapa lakini kabla yako pia nimeona tuko na bishop bishop ni leader uh, katika assembly ya Nairobi just say something on behalf of all the MCs who are not even here alafu Jalas uh, thank you very much your excellency uh, governor and all the guests first of all I'm very happy to be here and I believe that uh, some of these things are best when we see them. Personally, as the incoming leader of government business in Nairobi, we will look into ways of making it more affordable with the governor of the city to make sure that we are able to operate cheap, cheaply and affordably with the Buddha Buddha people. Uh, to the CEO and uh, all the people who are doing this, this is wonderful, and we look forward to seeing this. I see you have a very nice color. But I prefer yellow color is very popular in Kenya. So I would wish that you start producing yellow motorbikes. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Your Excellency. Karibu Tena Langata, this is your home. You come here most of the time because of these amazing people uh, that work with us here in Langata. Uh, today is a big day for us more so for the young people out here who each and every single day come out to make their daily bread out of this great company Rome. Your Excellency, what we would like you to do is just to support the young people out here in everything that they are doing already and also not just here in Langata but to other amazing uh, constituencies in Nairobi. Allow me to just welcome the other members of parliament who are with us here we have Mwafrika, Karibu Sana, our MP for Oisambo. We have uh, Gakuya, our MP for Embakasi North. We have Major Donk there, is a MP for Embakasi Central. Karibu Sana, na vile uyu mrembo wa meomba, uyu mrembo wa meomba umpange, ya natoka hapa langata. Iyo loni yake enye mebaki, Eh, mimi nitaandika tu jina yake alafu wewe utalipa asante sana thank you so much asante sana asante sana jalas eh, kushirikiana ni muhimu uandike jina mimi nitapelekea boss yeye alipe 
So utakuwa umesaidiwa na rais, na governor na mbunge. Your Excellency very quickly, um, just allow me to mention uh, a few things that uh, for us are truly remarkable. As a city of Nairobi, we are keen on being the first net zero city on the continent of Africa in terms of uh, carbon emissions, in terms of air quality. This is the direction that we are going as a city. As on top of the cost that you have reduced, we are going to partner with you in creating the charging stations and reducing the licenses. It uh, cost your licenses about each station is required to pay and the rates applicable to them. My leader is here. Takikisha kwa assembly because our finance bill is now being discussed. At least to punguze hiyo. Na hizi stations iwe nyingi, iwe mtani. Kila constituency kuwe na station. Ili pia, hawa nyo wanaendesha bike kuwache kuwa na what we call uh, range anxiety. Aujui pali itafika, ama kama itakatika. But unajua the next place you go, you'll be able to get a place to charge. And not just for the bikes. Also for electric vehicles and for electric buses. Uh, na kushukuru, your excellency, a few months ago, nilikuja kwako kwa mambo ya BRT ya Nairobi ilikuwa imekoma kidogo kwa ile serikali ya wali mambo ya cabinet you have done uh, with Mheshimiwa Murkomen and the cabinet memo the issue has come to you we've gotten money from the European Investment Bank ile line ya Thika Road kuanzia Taruiru ikija Kasarani all the way to the CBD inaendelea um, with the Europeans line ya Juja Road from Dandora i think that one will also start because this is the direction to go to as a country um vile unajua you are leading climate action I'm on the continental level. I'm also the vice chair of global C40 cities, climate action. Nikki Deputy is mayor of London. Kenya lazima ikue number one. Kwa hii maneno. Kenya lazima ikue number one. Na tayari, in renewable energy, we are leading the continent. Your Excellency, ukisikia kwamba in the last four months, this industry has employed 4,000 people. You know, that is what we had at the briefing. Yet to produce by exchange sana, kuna potential hapa. Our biggest problem today in Nairobi and in the, in the country ni vijana ambao hawana kazi. It is millions of disengaged, disillusioned young people who are educated. Umesikia story ya the ones who are working here. A degree in, in uh, supply chain management, yule msichana ambaye wanafanya batteries, she knows what to do, but the opportunities have not been there. These opportunities for young people will not create themselves. Lazima ipangwe. It must be worked on. And this is one of the ways that we're doing it. So we really support Your Excellency for taking the lead um, in, in, in creating employment for our young people, and we will do our part um, as a county. Finally, Your Excellency, ile ningeomba, kwa sababu najua kuna pali umetushikilia kwa aggregation and industrial parks, kama county. Nafikiri tukaleta hao manufacturers wa hizi pia kwa special economic zone, such that they can benefit more to serve East Africa yote kwa mambo ya electric bikes na electric vehicles. Such that if the cost to, to Philip and his team ya kuiproduce, if the cost to Moses and the Ritu ambaye nafanya mabasi imenda chini kidogo, why shouldn't Kenya supply Uganda, Tanzania, DRC, and Rwanda as instead of em, em, importing them from China? The biggest portion, component of this battery ni cobalt. Cobalt inatoka DRC, inapita Uganda, inapita Kenya, inaenda Mombasa, iende China, watengeneze bati afu waturudishie hapa. I think in future, that company doing it there, why don't we invite them to come do it from here and serve the entire East African market? Hii kitu itenda chini zaidi watu wetu wa fry. Kwa hayo mengi, Your Excellency Unirusu sasa ni mwaliki ya waziri eh, Davis Chichir, aseme yake alafu watakulika. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, President of the Republic of Kenya, uh, the leadership of Nairobi County led by uh, Johnson Sakaja, and uh, the Member of Parliament and your team, Jalango. Uh, your Excellency, tumefurai kufika hapa leo kushudia na kueleza wa wenzetu wa Roma kwamba tafanya kazi pamoja, tusukume i kazi mbele ili kwamba the Hustler Nation on our bottom-up program do get the benefit of the cost of doing business uh, at that level. Your Excellency, you will have been briefed that running electric motorbike uh, or using electricity to run the business will cost uh, a third 
of what would otherwise cost to run uh, using diesel. Your Excellency, I want to congratulate Roma for supporting us on what would otherwise look like a serious bottom-up program uh, that will go a long way in supporting and putting more money on the pockets of uh, the border, border rider. Your Excellency, on the energy side, I want to confirm that on the 92% energy mix, when we do charging of our motorbikes, we are charging with clean energy, what you would call green energy, not gray or blue. And therefore, on our target of 2030, uh, basically carbon uh, neutral, we are on course to achieve that. I want to confirm, Your Excellency, that as we work on the energy sector, we want to work with the mobility sector so that the target, the true target of reaching 100% uh, carbon neutral for Kenya is achieved not only on power generation, but also on the mobility. So we will work with the industry. I want to confirm, Your Excellency, that we've done our math. And if we do roll out 30%, we are working on 30% accelerated border border by 2025, which will give us up to 500,000 motorbikes on the road. 500,000 motorbikes on the road, which will be about 30% of the motorbikes on the road today, will require an additional 500 megawatts power generation, which we need to start today so that that power is available to support uh, the border border uh, riders at that percent cost, which is 30% of what you pay today. Uh, Your Excellency, as we go to the Climate Summit, Africa Climate Summit September, I'm consulting with State House so that we'll have a, charge, a charging point at the State House, not only for the... <laughs> and we are working on that, Your Excellency. It will be there. In fact, uh, if we were a bit fast, we should be riding on an electric vehicle on that particular day. Your Excellency, allow me to invite you to basically talk to this great project that I did say addresses the bottom-up in terms of cost-saving particularly on the tax holidays that you have provided in the finance bill, the finance act, sorry, in the finance act that addresses our people at the bottom of the pyramid. Welcome, Your Excellency. Thank you. Uh, uh, Rome na wananchi wenzangu wa mjambo basi mimi pia nimefurahi kufika hapa siku ya leo na nimekuja hapa makusudi eh, kwa sababu ya mpango huu ambao tuko nao wa e mobility nyinyi mnaelewa ya kwamba mimi kuwa rais watu wa boda boda walinsaidia sana Na mimi niliwaahidi hawa watu wa boda boda ya kwamba hii serikali tutaunda pamoja na wao. Najua wamekuwa wakingojea. Hii maneno yetu inafika lini. Na mimi nataka nitangaze nikiwa hapa vile nilisema wakati tulikuwa kule Embu ya kwamba biashara hii ya boda boda ni ya muhimu. Inalisha familia nyingi katika taifa letu la Kenya katika makadirio ya mapato pesa karibu shilingi bilioni moja inapatikana kila siku kutokana na biashara ya boda boda kumaanisha inafikia familia nyingi kupata chakula kusomesha watoto wao na kufanya kazi zingine ambazo zinatusaidia kama taifa na kwa sababu hiyo ndio tumeweka mpango maalum ya mambo ya boda boda na sio boda boda peke yake e mobility magari pikipiki e, mabas pia ambayo itakuwa inatumia stima na tumeweka mpango kamili kukabiliana na mambo karibu manne matano ya kwanza kuhakikisha ya kwamba biashara hii ya boda boda inafanyika katika eh, environment 
ambayo inaheshimika kama biashara zile zingine zote. Nashukuru kwa mfano governor wa Nairobi wakati alichukua usukani kulikuwa na boda boda karibu elfu tatu zilikuwa zimefungiwa pale akaziondoa zote akasema kila mtu aende nyumbani na boda boda yake. <laughs> Tunataka ijulikane ya kwamba hii ni biashara kama biashara singine. Na ndio sababu tumeweka mpango maalum katika budget yetu ili kusaidia mpango huu wa boda boda nia yangu na nia ya serikali ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba kati ya shilingi bilioni moja inapatikana kila siku tunataka pesa zingine ziongezeke karibu milioni ine kila siku iende kwa mfuko ya boda boda wengi hapa mtaniuliza hiyo itafanyika namna gani si ndio eh nataka munisikize kwa makini <laughs> ya kwanza tumesema ya kwamba tunataka kutumia sekta ya boda boda kuzalisha ajira kwa sasa hivi tuko na pikipiki ambazo zinatumia stima kama zile zinatengenezwa hapa haifiki elfu mbili Kenya tunataka sasa kupanua kutoka pikipiki kati ya around 2000 tunataka kufikia mwaka ujao ile mpango tumeweka tunataka tuwe na boda boda kama hizi kufikia mapema mwaka ujao in fact by the end of next year tunataka tuwe na pikipiki elfu mbili ambazo zitakuwa zinatumia stima. Kuna kampuni tumekubaliana na wao vile pikipiki zitapatikana zinazotumika stima zinazotumia stima 1200 kufikia mwaka ujao. Na ndio sababu tumeondoa ushuru kama sehemu tano ili kusaidia sekta hiyo kukua. Ya kwanza tumesema VAT kwa boda boda ambayo inatumia stima tutaondoa 16% VAT ile iko juu yake. Kumaanisha ile bei ya sasa itarudi chini by 16%. Ya pili tumesema spare parts zote ambazo zitakuja kutumika kutengeneza boda boda pia tunaondoa ushuru ya VAT ya tatu kwa sababu ile kitu ya muhimu sana kwa hii pikipiki ni betri tumesema vile vile ile parts yote ambayo inatumika kutengeneza betri na hata betri yenyewe pia tunaondoa ushuru <laughs> ndio ukitaka kutengeneza hiyo betri Kenya iko bei ya chini ndio ukiagiza kutoka nje iko bei chini ya, ta, ya ine tuko na equipment ya charging tuko na charger tuko na pale equipment ya kununua pale charging station mumesikia eh, management ya hapa mumesikia sakaja akisema ya kwamba pale tutatengeneza charging stations ziwe nyingi ndio unaweza kucharge pikipiki yako ama gari yako different places hiyo equipment yote ya charging stations pia tumeondoa ushuru vile 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 mumesikia imesemekana kutakuwa na charging stations ile stima ambayo mita ya kucharge boda boda gari bus hiyo stima yote tumekubaliana na watu wa eh, huyu mungwana ndiye anasimamia mambo ya epra tumekubaliana na huyu mjamaa 
tuwe na bei ya chini ya hawa watu kucharge pikipiki zao na magari zao na ndio nimewaleta hapa kila mtu ajue kazi yake na apate line yake si ndio kwa sababu tukifanya hiyo kazi yote na tayari tumeweka katika finance bill ile tunangojea itoke kotini so, mnajua kuna wa... <laughs> mnajua kuna watu wengine wamekimbiza kotini ati wanapinga hiyo maneno yote mimi nashangaa wanataka tuwe na Kenya aina gani mambo matatu tukikamilisha hii mambo matatu yatafanyika na mimi nataka munisikize vizuri Kenya hatuwezi kuendelea kuwa ni inchi ya kuagiza vitu ambazo zinaweza kutengenezwa na vijana wetu hapa Kenya Sasa hizi tunaagiza simiti na simiti inaweza kutengenezwa Kenya Tunaagiza steel na steel tunaweza kutengeneza Kenya Imagine tunaagiza mpaka furniture Eh, kitanda sijui meza sijui kiti kuna watu wanaenda kutuletea kutoka sijui Ulaya sijui kutoka China sijui kutoka wapi ati tunaagiza samaki <laughs> eh ndio nimesema hizo vitu zote ikiwemo hii pikipiki hii pikipiki tumekubaliana number one, kuna parts 14 kwa hii pikipiki tayari tumesema hizo haziwezi kuagizwa tena itakuwa inatengenezwa Kenya tukisonga songa ikifika mwaka ujao tunataka tena kuongeza zile parts kwa hii pikipiki kutoka 14 parts mpaka 30 parts ambazo zitakuwa zinatengenezwa Kenya ndio tupate watu wengi kama Lilian ambaye alitoka university kuna e, mrembo mwingine nilikutana naye hapo alitoka Tivet eh alitoka Tivet saa hizi anafanya kazi hapa hawa vijana wengi ambao wanatoka Tivet kila mwaka njia ya kupanga ajira yao ni kuacha kuagiza vitu zinatoka nje zile zinaweza kutengeneza na vijana wetu hapa Kenya. <laughs> Nyinyi mnataka tuendelee kuagiza vitu ambayo tunaweza kutengeneza Kenya jamani. Si ndio? Na unajua matatizo ambayo tumekuwa naye ni kwamba sisi kama viongozi hatutaki kuamua ile mambo iko ngumu kwa sababu tunataka tu kupigiwa makofi kila wakati sasa ukipigiwa makofi na watu hawana kazi itakusaidia nini sieri upange kazi ya hawa watu ndio wakikupigia makofi at least wako na kitu kwa tumbo ama nini sijui kama tunaelewana so tumekubaliana ya kwamba ajira lazima tupange Kenya na ndio nimeweka katika mpango yetu tupate ajira from manufacturing manufacturing kati yao ni ku manufacture hizi parts ile pikipiki milioni moja na laki nane, 1.8 million pikipiki ambazo tuko nayo Kenya in the next 3 to 5 years tunataka tusibadilishe zote iwe ya ya kutumia steam na tutahitaji tuta, tuta, kupitia kwa hiyo mpango peke yake tutapata ajira ya vijana zaidi ya elfu mia moja. bao watafanya kazi kama vile wale wanafanya kazi hapa leo in different parts ya jamhuri yetu ya Kenya vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba wakati tuna panua nafasi za ajira kupitia hii mpango ya e-mobility na tukibadilisha hatutakuwa tunatumia dola zetu ambazo tumepata kwa kuuza chai kwa kuuza kahawa 
hatutakuwa tunatumia dola zetu ati kwenda kuagiza mafuta sasa hii itakuwa inatua, ina, inatumia stima ambaye tuna generate hapa Olkaria si ndio so mambo ya kwenda kununua petroli sijui kununua sijui mafuta ta sijui kununua wapi ama ni mafuta gani hii bodaboda inatumia petroli si ndio badala ya kwenda kununua petroli sisi tunatumia stima yetu ambayo tumetengeneza hapa nyumbani ni mnanielewa na ya muhimu zaidi hapo ndio nataka mjue ni vipi nataka kuweka milioni ine kila siku kwa mfuko ya wa Kenya pale ulikuwa unanunua stima ulikuwa unanunua mafuta petroli kwa hiyo pikipiki ambayo umekuwa ukitumia ni kati ya shilingi ine na sita. sio ndio bei ya petroli kila siku kwa mtu ya kuendesha boda boda biashara sasa kucharge battery ili utumie for a whole day ile ile ungetumia shilingi sita, sasa utatumia kati ya shilingi sitini na shilingi moja. kila siku sasa wewe hata kwa hesabu yako hata kama ujui hesabu sana kama ulikuwa unatumia shilingi sita, sasa unatumia shilingi moja. faida umepata ni pesa ngapi si ni shilingi tano. na ni kila siku hiyo ni pesa imeenda imeenda kwa mfuko yenye ingekuwa inaenda kwa petroli ama hii hesabu mnataka tufanye namna gani <laughs> nilikuwa naona <laughs> nilikuwa naona Mungu ana <laughs> lakini kutojua alikuwa ana alikuwa anauliza nafikiri alikuwa kitale alikuwa anataka kwenda maandamano alikuwa akasema <laughs> alikuwa anasema sasa huyu hasla anatuambia ati atatuletea E, pikipiki inatumia stima sasa hii ya stima kweli mnaona hii ya stima itaenda ita, itaweza ita hata kutembea kilomita kilomita moja mimi nataka nimwambie huyo jamaa aulize huyu mama Lilian si Lilian yuko hapa na anatumia hii pikipiki ya kutumia stima ya ananiambia Lilian akicharge na mia moja, anafanya biashara ya the whole day sasa huyo muti ya kitale tumepata majibu yake Awache maandamano angoje pikipiki ya kutumia stima. <laughs> Ama namna gani? Yes. So mimi nataka tukubaliane. Ya kwamba this is the direction we must go. Najua itachukua muda sisi eh, ku um, to manufacture. It may take a bit of time for us to manufacture and that is why I really want to encourage the management of Rome that you have our support before without you talking to us we have taken the steps that we have taken we are ready we are willing to discuss with you even further additional interventions that the government can do to make it easier for you to produce to make it cheaper for us to produce what we must sort out now which is something we are working on is to make sure that financing is also sorted out bado tuko na shida pale kwa vile ya kupata hii pikipiki na kulipa watu wengi wanalipa karibu mara mbili bei ya pikipiki pikipiki ya shilingi 1150 unaenda unalipa mpaka inafika 300000 si kweli sasa hapo ndio tunataka tujipange na mimi nataka niwaambie nimeshawaambia wizara and the peers is here wa industry huyu uh, anaitwa Mohana nishamwambia hawa jamaa wapange mimi nataka serikali iweze kuingilia kati ndio tupunguze gharama ya mambo ya financing ya kununua boda boda na zile eh, magari zingine so that we can make it easier and and better for citizens to own this equipment tunaelewana hiyo ndio mpango yetu na nimesema vile nilisema kule embu tarehe moja mwezi wa tisa ambaye imebaki sasa karibu siku sijui ngapi tutatangaza vizuri mpango yetu 
ya vile tutasaidiana na watu ya sekta ya boda boda na hata immobility in general and therefore i am truly truly happy to see what is going on in this facility and it is because we believe as a nation that with different types of intervention especially around tax we can make things a lot better the reason why this sector has has been having challenges is because we've been having the wrong policy interventions around tax and that is why you have heard me internationally talk about we need to change the financial architecture that we currently have that is not supportive of enterprises that lift the majority of people out of poverty and build the capacity of more businesses to be able to be able to drive our progress our prosperity our development and our economy there is a solid case for a relook on our global financing in, uh, architecture even as we look at our domestic uh, financial architecture you can see that just by intervening in a very small way we are able to bring down the cost of our e mobility infrastructure by between 16 and 20% just by adjusting taxes here and there it is the same reason why we are saying we need a tax infrastructure globally that is going to respond to climate change financing that we are all looking at uh, your management we here they were discussing with me about carbon trading because that's the next horizon of how to tap into resources that can help support industries like the e-mobility here and i have committed to the management as i commit to the whole industry that we are finalizing the carbon trading uh, legislation uh, my good brother jalash here and team we will be is already in parliament we want you to expedite so that we can have a carbon trading infrastructure that will support uh, green industrialization including green manufacturing of items like the ones we have here so i am very happy this afternoon to be part of this uh, very important intervention uh, as i have said we have policy interventions in our finance bill specifically targeting e mobility our border border people specifically because they contribute almost a billion shillings to our economy every day and the policy interventions that we have put in the finance bill from zero rating all e bikes zero rating all our vat on uh, 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 motor vehicle spare parts removing taxes on charging equipment removing our taxes on uh, uh, battery and lithium and the whole manufacturing of um, uh, uh, gadgets and instruments and facilities that will be used for e mobility and making sure that we have a dedicated tariff energy tariff to support the whole industry is part of the interventions we are put in the finance bill to support this sector and to inject between 400 and 500 million shillings every day in the pockets of the people in the border border sector so it is very important that we all work together uh, this journey So mimi nimefurahi sana sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Huyu mrembo anaitwa Lilian amesema hii pikipiki yake ame ako naye kwa loan. 
na nasema kwa sababu sasa nimefika hii area nifanye kitu sio ndio so vile nitafanya Lilian mmm huyu jalasha amesema yeye ndio mwenye kuandika majina <laughs> nani sasa bwana gavana upange na hawa waheshimiwa so that we get uh, ten people like Lilian so that Lilian asikue peke yake kubaliane na hawa waheshimiwa tupate watu kumi kama Lilian na boss tutakuja kuchukua check kutoka kwangu wewe bwana mkuu wewe unasema wewe ndio mtu ya pesa nimeshukuru yeah so utaniambia ni pesa ngapi hizo kumi nitakuandikia check check alafu hii Lilian sasa atakaa chonjo na wenzake ndio so uh, Lilian sasa utachunga ule jamaa ndio ulisema anaitwa nani eh eh Nevin Kenudia huyo Nevin Kenudia sasa atakuwa na utakuwa na pesa ya kutosha si ndio so uh, mimi nataka niseme asante sana na watakia heri na watakia baraka ya Mungu na tuko pamoja na tutasukuma nchi ya Kenya mbele pamoja asante